Welcome to practice, everybody. This is gonna be a 45 minute all levels vinyasa practice. And today we're really orienting around a central shape um, that is referred to as goddess pose or Utkata Konasana pose. And when I was planning this sequence, I was really looking at how can I deconstruct this shape, but also really approaching it with curiosity, like where can I go from this shape? Where is it leading me? So with that in mind, we are gonna start in a very grounding position of Supta Baddha Konasana, or reclined um, feet together pose. So you can bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees open up, surrendering to gratitude, and just let the body kind of land on the mat. Let gravity kind of do all the work here. And we will anatomically, of course, be playing with the physical shape of goddess, but also welcoming in that energy of all that that shape encourages us to embody. And I came across this poem that I'm gonna to use to kind of bookend the practice today, letting it guide us into the Hatha Yoga practice and also it will be at the end of our Shavasana. It says, have you forgotten who you are? Here is a reminder. You are the bearer of light, of life. Do you have any idea of your power? So look for the light within you. Let it surge like a river through your veins and use it to will your dreams into existence. For you are a goddess. And so as we lay here grounding for the practice ahead of us, thinking of this energy of the goddess that we can channel into every breath, every shape that we come in and out of. Taking one more complete round of breath right here in Supta Baddha Konasana. And then maybe using the hands on the outer thighs to just close the legs together as if you were closing a book. And then invite the legs to come in towards the chest, giving yourself a hug here. You may feel better keeping the hands on the front of the shins with the knees quite wide. Or if you want a more hugging sensation, you could wrap the elbows around the knees, maybe interlacing the fingers. And then you might like stillness, or I find myself naturally rocking from side to side here, whatever feels good. And then if you were moving, start to bring the body into a central position. Bring your hands on the front of the knees, bring the inner knees together, and we're gonna to start to draw some big circles as we push the knees away from us, then open them out wide, then bring them up towards the armpits, and then back in towards one another. And continuing these circles forward, out, up, and in at your own pace. And this is just a way to kind of check in with what sort of range of motion the body is going to be able to comfortably work with in the goddess today. And the next time you find your inner knees together, just reverse that circle. So we take them more up towards the armpits, then out wide, then down and away from us, and then together and in. And just moving in that direction a few rounds noticing if you feel any stretching, any pulling, maybe even some kind of popping in the hip and just take all that in as valuable information for the rest of the practice. Take one more circle and then we're gonna rock, bring the feet down to the mat, moving into a few rounds of rolling bridge pose. Bring the palms down alongside you, pushing down into the feet, rolling up one vertebra at a time, rising up into your bridge pose, and then using the exhale to kind of ripple through the vertebrae of the spine, rolling back down to the mat. We'll take four more of those, rising up, pushing into your bridge on the inhale, and rolling back down smoothly with each exhale. Three more, feeling the palms of the hands rooted down into the mat, the sense of anchoring through the shoulders, rolling down through the spine. Two more, feeling the energy of the knees move forward as the pelvis lifts up. 
And then the spine rolls down and the pelvis is the last to land. Last rolling up. Knees forward, pelvis up. And then slowly rolling back down on the exhale. Drawing knees into chest, maybe gaining a little momentum as you take a few rock and rolls to eventually come up and over to an all fours position. We'll land there in that all fours position and I'm gonna invite you to just take some intuitive movement. So whatever feels yummy, whatever feels like this is where the body's calling you to move, take that. It may not even have a name. The name may just feel yummy. That's the name of this movement. <laughs> Beautiful. Start to find a more kind of attentive, alert, true tabletop position here. Awareness of where your joints are, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We're moving into an elongated table, sweeping that right leg back, lifting it up parallel to the floor, flexing that right foot as if you were pushing into an imaginary wall behind you. Feel the front of the ribs gently drawing in. Take one more breath right here. You can look at the screen if you need to, or maybe trusting the verbal cue as you bend your right knee at a 90 degree angle. So now the sole of your right foot pointing up towards the ceiling, and then gently push that right foot up towards the ceiling, feeling a slight engagement in the right glute. And then notice, just with your own sense of proprioception, kind of the height of the leg here. Try not to drop the right knee too much as you externally rotate the femur in the hip joint and sweep that right knee forward so you're now in this kind of lateral cactus position with that right leg. Take one more in-breath here and then reverse out of that, rolling back into that 90 degree kind of kick position and then re-extending the right leg straight lower the right knee next to the left and take a little floor flow here hips to heels dropping back to child's pose shifting forward to a half plank position knees stay down elbows skim the sides of the body as you lower all the way to the mat inhale lifting up into just a little baby cobra it doesn't have to be a big back bend Begin to slide the forearms forward, finding yourselves in a sphinx position. As you inhale, feel the sternum pull forward in your sphinx. As you exhale, lift the ribs, the abdomen, the thighs, rolling up into a half forearm plank. Then lower the thighs, the pelvis, the lower ribs, your back in that sphinx. We'll do that rolling up and down twice more. So you lift the ribs, the pelvis, the thighs rolling, and then lower thighs, pelvis, lower belly, and ribs. Last time rolling up into that half forearm plank, really energetically pushing down through the forearms and rolling back one piece of the body at a time. Take one more inhale in your sphinx. Exhale, slide the palms back underneath your shoulders. Push through all fours hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, shift forward to your tabletop. We'll take that little sequence with the leg on the second side. Left leg elongates back and lifts up parallel to the floor. Flexing that left foot and pushing into that imaginary wall behind you. So I will let you know, we're gonna to get to do this little sequence one more time with the optional addition of the arm movement. So really appreciating, bend your left knee 90 degrees, push your left foot up towards the ceiling, feeling that gluteal engagement. Appreciating that right now, we only have to do this one thing of focusing on the leg. So appreciating the simplicity here. Keep the elevation of the leg as you externally rotate that left femur bone, drawing that left thigh bone and knee out and forward. Feel that outer hip engagement. We're gonna be visiting this shape when we're upright in our goddess. And then keeping the height as you sweep back to the 90 degree kicking position. Re-extend that left leg. Left knee next to right. We do that little floor vinyasa, hips to heels is our child's pose. Shift forward, half plank. Lowering down in one piece to the mat. 
Lifting Cobra Pose. Forearms slide forward, you're in Sphinx. Exhale, rolling it up, half forearm plank. Lowering down back into Sphinx. Rolling up, half forearm plank. One more time to Sphinx. One more time to forearm plank. Back into that Sphinx, big inhale, feel the heart pull forward, elbows pull back. Then slide the palms back underneath you, hips to heels, childs. Second time with the option to add on, shift forward to that tabletop, right leg extends back, lifts up parallel to the floor, flex the foot, push into the imaginary wall. If you wanna add on the arm, reach your left arm forward, extended tabletop. So it's like at Thanksgiving when you have to put the extra leaf in the table, that's what we did with the arm forward. Now we're gonna mirror the arm and the leg. So bend your right knee 90 degrees, kick the right foot to the ceiling, bend your left elbow 90 degrees, reach your fingertips up to the ceiling. You'll feel that in the shoulder. One more inhale. Now left arm and right leg are gonna move into cactus as your right knee moves out and forward and your left elbow moves out and back. Good, one more in breath. Now reverse. Rolling back into the 90-90 and re-extended the table. Lower left hand, right knee, this little floor-based vinyasa, shift it back to child's. Let the repetition be soothing, forward to half plank, controlled descent to the mat. Inhale, cobra, exhale, sphinx. Inhale, Sphinx. Little add-on here. As you roll up, you can keep the tops of the feet down, but maybe lift the knees. Then lower knees and continue rolling back to your Sphinx. And roll it up. Plank. And roll it down. Sphinx. Every time I roll to forearm plank, I'm pushing down through the forearms. Every time I come forward to Sphinx, I'm pulling the elbows back. Slide the palms under the shoulders. You pass through all fours on your way to child's pose. Last time through this warm-up sequence, shift it forward, find your tabletop. Left leg back, establish that solidity in the leg. Then maybe add that leaf in your extended table by reaching the right arm forward. Full breath here. Then starting to move into the 90-90, bend the left knee, bend the right elbow, push the foot and the right fingertips up. Posterior chain awakens. Keep the height as you move right arm to cactus, left leg to cactus. Recalling those words of our opening poem, do you have any idea of your power? Roll back to that 90-90. Look for the light within you. Re-extend that tabletop. Lower right hand, lower left knee. Tuck the toes, press up to your first downward facing dog. Let any movement come into the body that feels good. Maybe rolling the hips, rocking the heels. Dropping into this intuitive, what does my body need right now that feels good? We're gonna to start to shift into some sun salutations just to kind of establish a rhythm in the movement of the body. And we're gonna to start to build our first sun salutation from right here in downward facing dog. So if you're still moving, start to find a little bit more stillness in your dog pose. And then just gently lowering the knees to the mat, stepping the right foot forward. You're welcome to use the hand to guide the foot if that feels supportive. Settling into your Anjani Asana. Take any variation with the arms here. Maybe you wanna keep them grounded. Maybe it feels good just to have the hands on the top of the thigh. Maybe you're feeling like you really wanna open the heart and you're wanting more back bend. Make a choice that feels good to you, good. 
Taking one more breath in here. We'll go right back to that downward facing dog as we lower the hands, step it back on a Mukhashvanasana. We'll take our first full plank as we shift forward. If you need the support of the knees down, it's always there for you. Option moving through Chaturanga, elbows straight back, Chaturanga. Rolling over the feet, upward facing dog. And lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Looking forward, stepping left foot forward, right knee melts down, and again, checking in, where do I want to be with my hands? The only right answer is the one that feels right in your body right now. Two more full breaths. Looking for the light within you and letting it surge like a river through your veins. Finding the top of the mat, hands come down, step the right foot forward to meet the left, fold in, rising up to our first mountain pose, Tadasana, sweeping the arms out, up if you want to take a little back bend at the top, you're welcome to, hands to heart center. Release the arms, stand tall, take a beautiful breath in, exhale, bring all that energy into the heart center, palms meet. Reaching the arms forward, up, back, bend at the top. Folding over the legs, long spine on the journey down. Stepping that left leg to the back of the mat. We're gonna build a low lizard pose. So we're gonna lower the left knee down. Walk your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. So both hands are on the inside. Because we're playing with goddess today, take the right foot, turn it out at about a 45 degree angle. Let the knee track over the center of the right foot. If you wanna stay high in your lizard, stay upright. If you wanna melt down lower, you can lower towards the forearms or all the way to the forearms. We're gonna take three full breaths here, about 15 seconds. And if like me, you find the body naturally wanting to sway here or invite some movement, let that happen. No need to be overly rigid. Give yourself one more full in-breath here. We'll take it back to downward facing dog. So if you were on the forearms, palms plant, tuck the left toes, Adho Mukha Svanasana is position five. Either knees, chest and chin or plank through Chaturanga. You decide. Inhale and Cobra or beautiful up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lizard pose, second side. That left foot can step outside the left hand. Right knee melts down. And again, turn the left foot out about 45 degrees. The knee tracking right over the center of that left foot. And then feeling, okay, this side's different than the other side. Do I need to stay up higher? Do I need to come down to forearms? Maybe blocks under forearms is a nice middle path. Goddess pose that we're moving towards today is this beautiful pose that embodies in very direct ways, both strengthening and stretching. Let's come to back up onto the palms. You're gonna walk your left foot in just a little bit because we're coming forward to Uttanasana. Step the right foot forward to meet the left, forward fold. And then sweep the arms out up. Maybe that back bend's there for you at the top. Palms together, closing it out. One more Surya Namaskaram, release the arms, take that breath in. Exhale, gather that energy into the heart center. Reaching the fingertips forward up and back, folding from the waist over the legs. We'll lead with the right leg this time. As we step the right leg back, we're gonna keep a high lizard. So again, the left foot navigates out to the outer left edge of the mat. Left toes turn out 45 degrees, but the difference here is we're gonna keep the right knee lifted. You could stay up on the palms, pulling the heart slightly forward, or if you feel like there's the space to naturally melt down, you could explore that. Two more breaths. 
In our goddess pose, we're going to be really strengthening the calves, the quadriceps, the glutes, the core, while we're simultaneously stretching the inner thighs, the hips, the groin. Walk back up onto your palms. Step it back, downward facing dog. Either knees, chest, and chin, or plank through chaturanga. Choosing your journey. Back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog. Breathing in in your dog. As you exhale, right foot steps forward for that high lizard lunge, second side. Maybe turning right toes out, melting the pelvis down. Check in at the knees, tracking over the center of the right foot, and then finding the depth that feels appropriate for you today. Do you have any idea of your power? All of these shapes that are building us towards goddess, reminding us one breath, one pose at a time of the depth of our power. Bring your palms back onto the mat. We're going to need to invite that right foot back towards the middle of the mat slightly and then closing out sun salutations. Left foot comes forward to meet the right. Sweep the arms out and up. Hands into heart center. Release the arms, close the eyes. Take about a 30 second micro meditation here. Holding in your own mind, this nuance of on the one hand, we're just doing a beautiful physical practice with our bodies, playing with shapes, feeling both stretching and strengthening. And then on the other hand, there's this subtle plane of everything that these shapes remind us of, the potential that we tap into. And then blinking open the eyes. This is a great time if you need to hydrate, adjust your clothing. I will let you know because I have a wall and a gorgeous painting here that there will be times in the standing sequence which we're moving into that I may change my direction on my mat partially so you can see the shapes more clearly and partially so that I don't kick my wall. So pay attention, just keeping your ears open for the cueing um, and, and we'll get there together, okay? We're gonna start at the front of our mat. We begin this sequence actually with a balancing pose. So we're gonna begin by building our Vrikshasana tree pose. Our left leg is gonna be the trunk of the tree and then we're gonna to start to build our tree pose. So you could keep a nice low baby tree today if balance is feeling a little bit less accessible, or you could build whatever version of a tree feels really available, allowing you to access stability, or you can maintain the balance, really connect with this idea of holding a shape for a number of breaths. Wherever you are in your tree pose, I want you to feel that right inner thigh opening up, the right glute slightly engaged to encourage that opening, and the strength and stability in your standing left leg. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna release the right leg and step the feet wide into a goddess position. The feet are slightly off of the mat, turned out at 45 degrees, melting down into your goddess position. Take your arms out, open them into that field goal post. I'm gonna face you so you can see this. And then we're gonna do some lateral bends. So sometimes we do something which I call the picture frame arm. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna lean. So you're gonna take your left hand, you might just wiggle your fingers so you know which ones your left hand is. As you lean to your right, cross either hands or forearms into that picture frame position. Come back up into your field goal post. Go the opposite direction, right hand to left, to whatever degree makes sense to you and then back up to center. Isn't it fun how we do this and then we forget how much all the legs are working? One more time each side, fold to the right. Beautiful, back to center. 
Last time, fold to the left, create that beautiful picture frame for your gorgeous face, and then back to center. Bring your left hand to your waist, reach your right arm up, inhale, stand tall. <sighs> Exhale, reach your right hand down and just try not to collapse forward. Tap the fingertips down, you're low, low, low. Do good, do that two more times, reach up. And then bend the knees, reach down, tap, low. One more time, inhale, reach up. That's it, exhale down, look down, plant your right palm. You may wanna watch this. Your right leg is gonna, without touching, thread through and sit. So right leg threads through and you sit. Beautiful, you're in the perfect place for Marichyasana A. Reach your left arm up, fold forward, and then see if you can wrap the left arm, maybe the fingertips bind. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Now, if you're like, my fingertips didn't bind, I, I couldn't do it, no big deal. Just have your fingertips out to the side. Keep lengthening with every inhale, folding with every exhale. One more breath right here. Inhale, start to come up, taking a spinal twist. Windmill your left arm up, back and around. Right arm comes around, hugs that left knee. Beautiful, open Ardha Matsyandrasana A. Inhale, look to the front of your mat. Take your right hand to the pinky side edge of your left foot and start to extend your left leg. Lean back into your left hand a little bit. Do not move your left leg, but lift your right toes and tap the back of your left heel. Then hover the right leg and then tap. That's way harder than it looks. <laughs> lower and tap. Hello quadricep, last time, lower. Beautiful, tap. Lower the right leg completely Bend your left knee, left foot back to the mat. Windmill the right arm up, back around, half circle pose. Push into the left foot and the right palm. Beautiful back bend. Ardha Mandalasana, half circle pose. Lower the pelvis. Now here's a beautiful transition. I'm gonna turn so you can see. Bring your right hand back to the mat. Left hand can come to the waist. I'm gonna lift up and try to thread my right leg through and back. And I'm in that high, high um, lizard lunge that we did from our sun salutations. Beautiful. Reach your left arm to the ceiling, twist. Step forward, malasana. Right foot turned out, squat. Decompress. Breathe, that's the sequence. We're gonna do it on the second side, and then we're gonna get to do it one more time through on each side movement to breath. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, hands to mat, lift the hips, walk the feet in, you're in Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms out and up. Second side immediately, right leg is the trunk of your tree, left leg is coming up into your Vrikshasana tree pose. Beautiful. And noticing even though we're only doing the traditional full goddess shape a couple of times, we're actually visiting components of the goddess pose over and over again in the different shapes in this sequence. One more breath in this tree pose. And then as you exhale, you start to step yourself out, sinking down into that powerful goddess position, arms in the field goal pose. I'm just turning to face you so that you can see me. Inhale here, go to the left first, right hand goes to the left. Back to center, that's it. And fold right. 
and center and left and center. Notice how your face is doing the practice and to the right. Nice soft face, come to center, right hand to waist, left arm to ceiling. As you inhale, I want you to think of pulling up through the center of your body, and then as you exhale, reach down and tap. Good, like you're cinching, up, and then drop. One more time, reach it up, feel that power, and then tap it down, yes. Plant that left palm, Try not to touch your left foot or leg as you thread through and sit. Beautiful, reach the right arm up. Fold forward, Marichyasana A, to your ability. The inhale invites length. The exhale invites a softening. One more breath here. Let the in-breath pick you up. Ardha Matsyandrasana A, twist. Right arm up and around, left arm hugs that right knee. Feel the belly button rotating around to the right. Chin rotating over that right shoulder. Do you have any idea of your power? Look for the light within you. Left hand outside the right pinky toe. Reach and extend that right leg. Lean back into the right palm. Lift that left leg, tap and hover. Yes, tap and hover. Tap. Slower is harder. Last time, tap and lower. Bend the right knee, right foot finds the mat. Big windmill with the arms. As your left palm lands, push down through the left palm and the right foot. Ardha Mandalasana, beautiful half circle pose with the body. And then as you lower the pelvis, I need to kind of squinch in, squinch, is that a word? I don't know. Squinch in my left palm, push down through my left palm so that I can thread that left foot back. Then you're in that lunge, reach that right arm up. This should feel so nice. And then you close the sequence with that malasana squat. Left foot comes forward, squat down, hands to heart. looking for the light within you, letting it surge like a river through your veins. You are a goddess, or in some of your cases, a god. I know, I know we have men in the room too, so shout out to the men in the room. Hands to the floor, lift the hips. Walk those feet in slightly, finishing with a half salutation. Inhale, half lift and fold. Sweep the arms out and up. Hands to heart center. Release the arms, close the eyes, taking a brief pause because we're gonna prepare to move through the sequence one more time on each side. Movement to movement, breath to breath. Letting every breath, every movement be powered by that inner source of energy. That's the essence of that God-Goddess posture that we're channeling. Blinking open your eyes, finding that point that's gonna help you stabilize your tree pose, standing on the left leg, lifting the right, coming into your tree pose, Vrikshasana. As you balance here, feeling that synergy between the right foot and the left inner leg. How the stabilization of one creates opportunity for opening in the other. One more breath here. As you feel the body exhaling, transition into your goddess. Take a big inhale, arms are in that goddess field goal position, and then lean to your right. 
and to center. The breath directing the movement. Lean left. And the inhale picking you up. The exhale softens you to fold to the right. And the inhale brings you back to center. And left. And center. Right hand to waist, left hand reaches to the ceiling. Inhale, find your power, stand up. Exhale, root down, tap the floor. Bring that energy up and then reach down and get more. One more time, up and down. Plant that left palm, steady. Thread that left leg through, sit. Reach the right arm up. Marichyasana, find your bind. Breathing in, just one full breath here. Breathing out. Inhale picks you up. Windmill that right arm behind you, left arm to right knee, twist. Inhale, left hand to right foot. Extend the right leg, lean back into the right hand slightly, left toes to right heel, and hover. And tap, energy and drishti up. Drishti is where your eye focus is. Tap. And lower, beautiful, bend the right knee, right foot down, windmill the arms. As your left hand lands, push down to lift up, Beautiful breath in. As the pelvis lowers, maybe you need to slide the left hand in a little bit, and then you thread that left leg straight back. You're in that lunge. Reach that right arm up. Whew. And then bring it all with you, Malasana squat. Have you forgotten who you are? Here's your reminder. You are the bearer of light of life. Hands to the earth, lift the hips. Uttanasana, maybe walk those feet in. Half salutation, half lift. Fold in. Arms sweep out and up. Hands to heart center. Last side of the sequence, right leg is the trunk of the tree. Left leg lifts up. Finding stability. Also appreciating all of those micro movements, the incredible wisdom of that standing leg that's keeping you here. Just witnessing the body in awe. Stepping out to that goddess. Do you have any idea of your power? Fold to the left. Back to center. You are literally fold to the right, a house for light. Come back to center. The origin of life, fold left. Back to center and right. Back to center. Left hand to waist, right arm up. Reach up, gather that energy, tap it down. Two more, up. And down, knees tracking over the feet. Good, and up, and down. Plant that right palm, right leg threads through. You sit. Inhale, reaching left arm up. Fold forward, finding your Marichyasana A. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, coming up. Opening into that twist, left arm behind you, right arm hugs the knee. Looking forward, finding the outer edge of that left foot, extending it, beautiful IT band stretch. Lean back a little bit and then lift and tap and lower. Your legs may remember this practice tomorrow, lower down, your quads may. Lift up and lower down. Bend the left knee, left foot to the mat, windmill the arms. 
and then push up and open. This should feel so good in the body. And then lower the pelvis. You may need to slide the right palm in, lift, thread that right leg through. Left arm reaches to the ceiling, open, open, open. Like you're a flower turning towards the sun. Step forward, Malasana. Squat. Beautiful. Feeling that connection with the earth in this pose. Reaching the fingertips forward with control, settling the pelvis onto the mat. Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold forward. So knowing you control the depth of this pose, if more of a diamond shape feels better to you, please, by all means, take that. Sometimes a little bit more spaciousness can feel very compassionate in the body. Checking in with your breath. Maybe really extending an invitation to the exhale for it to elongate, to take its time leaving the body. Or open up into Upavishta Konasana, wide-legged forward fold. So as you inhale, lift the trunk. Take your legs wide. Breath in. And forward. I'd really encourage um, a softness in the hands here. And knowing we're getting close to Shavasana, even softening the soles of the feet, almost inviting a yin-like quality into the body. Knowing that sometimes power is gentle and forgiving and soft. And so inviting those elements of power into the body. And as we prepare to really bring the practice down, you can use your hands to gently close the legs. Moving towards Shavasana where you have the option to return to Sukta Baddha Konasana. But if that feels like too much and you want the more classic Shavasana, please, by all means, take that. Whatever's gonna be more of service to you giving ourselves about a two and a half minute Shavasana here. I'm gonna give you one full minute of silence, but to lead you into that silence, I'm gonna reread the poem that really anchored our practice. Have you forgotten who you are? Well, here is a reminder. You are the bearer of light of life. Do you have any idea of your power? Look for the light within you. Let it surge like a river through your veins. Use it to will your dreams into existence. For you are a goddess. If you have more time for a Shavasana, you're welcome to stay as you are or leave the Zoom room and return to rest as long as you like. If this is the time you set aside for your practice, begin to deepen your breathing and welcome movement back into the body. 
and then eventually in your own way and in your own time, return to a comfortable seat. To close the practice, I invite you to bring the palms of the hands together where we ask that the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light, which sounds like these four words in Sanskrit. Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu. Victory to all of our practices. Jai.